Right. Right, Mike, um, uh, Gary's asked, uh, told me that you're interested in the painting and you've asked for some more information on it. So uh, we'll go down to the studio and we'll have a look at it. My friend Trev has kindly agreed to hold the camera so he can ask a few questions about it on your behalf and uh, we'll have a look at it. So here we have the painting. It's 40 inches by 40 inches with an ivory slip and a 4 inch black whistler frame. And I've got some other pieces on the go, this is something I'm working on at the moment. I had this painting in, in New York, in a gallery in New York, a pop gallery in Manhattan. Um, but I've decided to change it. I had Woody Allen in the uh, one side of it and I've decided to swap Woody Allen out for Jodie Foster. So that's a work that's in progress at the moment. Uh, this painting was also in Manhattan. This has been exhibited in New York for my one-man show that I had a couple of years ago. Um, and now it's back. It's one of my favourites, so I was quite glad to see it back, actually. Can you tell me the story about it, Mike? Well, uh, a lot with my work it's about mashups. I like taking pop culture and playing around with it. So obviously we've got the characters from the James Wheel 1930s movies. We've got Frankenstein, Boris Karloff, and the Bride of Frankenstein. And um, I just like this idea of them um, being uh, these bank robbing outlaws and this whole thing about you'll never take us alive and then down in the bottom the wee asterisk thing or dead because well they're neither one nor the other but the fun fact about it is that um, the models I'm the model this is me here and this is Eden my daughter so we, we modelled it which was a fun day. But it's, it's oil on canvas. And um, it's painted, I think, I'm not sure the name of the date on it, 2018, so it's two, two years old. But I'll take it outside, I'll take it outside and you can look at it in, uh, in daylight. Give you an idea of scale. Brilliant. How's that look, Trev? That looks okay, Mike, I think. Don't stop. Do you want to take, do you want to do some close ups of it? Yeah, I'll zoom in a bit. I didn't do any zooming or anything like that. Yeah, the bullet holes were fun to do. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a favourite. It's, uh, you know, it's one of those, those successful paintings. Came out the way I'd like it. Colours, I mean, the colours are very dramatic, I think. <laughs> it's quite fun, funny as well. <laughs> oh, that's alright. Oh, dead. Or did, yeah. <laughs> get a look at the back. So it's it's double strapped on the back. So it's a um, it's a Burden Davis uh, stretcher from London. So Burden Davis, I think, are the best canvas makers in Britain. So it's one of their canvases, and then uh, it's. 
I've got these brackets on the back for extra strength on the miters. There we go. <laughs> Don't shoot. <laughs> right. This is the artist's studio. My favourite place to be. Some paintings. Is Professor Forbes in? Yes, Dr. Professor Johnson. Doctor, sorry, Dr. Forbes. This is the ultimate bad boy with the devil, clockwork orange, and then Sid Vicious. My Abraham Lincoln Batman. Robert De Niro, taxi driver. Still working on Jodie Foster. Let's just give you an idea of the workspace. You don't care about that, me being in it, Mark. 